this is Nancy McDonald. Thank you for enrolling in ISM 420, Data Modeling and Warehousing. This short video will show you how to navigate within the course. You should start with Start Here and read the information associated with the course introduction. In the Start Here and in each of the weekly folders is the weekly checklist with the due dates. In the first week of the class, you'll need to complete the Start Here exercise as well as the Week 1 assignments. After you've read through the course introduction, please open the Readings and Activities folder and look through all of the material included in this folder. There's also an exercise, the introduction to the discussion board that's part of Start Here. You should also take a look at the syllabus. The course information and schedule is included, as well as a link to the basic course information, information about the textbook, etc. Each of the weekly folders are organized in a similar way, so let's take a look at week one. Please look through the week one introduction. The weekly checklist is included here. And then the activities and assignments folder includes the work for each week. The first thing you should do is open the readings and resources folder, complete the readings in the textbook, and view the videos and articles included in the Readings and Resources folder. Each week there's a case study and in the case study we're going to be using Wilmington University data. The reason that we're going to use Wilmington University data for the case study is it's often important when we're doing data warehousing to understand what the data looks like, how the data codes are set up. And so since we're all familiar with Wilmington University data, how the courses are coded, for instance, how the student IDs are set up, uh, we're going to be using our university as our case study. Each week, there's a discussion board assignment. The discussion board initial postings are due on Thursday. This gives the other students a chance to read your posting and respond to at least two of the discussion board postings by Sunday. The weekly assignments, likewise, are due each Sunday. In addition to the weekly folders, there's a link to the discussion board. There are two discussion boards that are due for, for the first week of class. One is the introduction that's part of the Start Here exercise, and the second is the week one discussion board topic. You can view the rubrics and grading criteria. Likewise, you can view my grades. When you submit your assignments, I'll not only grade the assignments, but I'll put comments associated with your work. Each of the weekly assignments is going to build upon the previous week, and so it's going to be important that you review the comments specific to your work so that you can make corrections and updates in the subsequent week's assignments. Likewise, there's the faculty contact information. If you want to send me an email or send an email to the other students, there's the link for that. There's also the link to the library, online tutoring, Blackboard help, and web resources specific to this course. So thanks again for enrolling in ISM 420. I'm looking forward to being your online instructor.